When I was a little child, I often visited the zoo. But I never wondered why are all those animals in cages uh, and why do we treat them as attractions? Uh, but and what makes us different from them, apart from the appearance, of course? If chimpanzees are our in a way cousins, why don't we treat them as such? Uh, I was too young, of course, to understand. Uh, my only reaction to all these animals were, look, mommy, how cool they are. Uh, and all those questions came to me relatively recently. And I wondered, what makes us different from the animals? Maybe it's the fur. But, you know, now because the elephants, uh, who we also see in the zoo, don't have much of it either. And besides, we also have fur, but it's just called hair. And maybe it's the lack of sharp, sharp fangs or claws, like baboons or wolves have. And you know, all of the primates have like the same nails and teeth as we do. And so I slowly looked for all the all of the excuses, and then I wondered why people do not have all these useful adaptations, inventions of nature, and yet we have the courage to consider ourselves the greatest and the most perfect species that has ever walked the earth. And after proper research, I found this one thing. Once again, evolution answers one of my questions. And we have to move to the edge of African bush about 8 million years ago. Uh, this is when the last common ancestor of human and chimpanzees, uh, known to scientists as Pan Prior lived. Uh, individual of this species lived in a jungle, leading very similar lives uh, to most of modern primates like chimpanzees or gorillas. Uh, but at some point, something strange happened, not fully known to modern scientists. Most, most likely, the weaker individuals were pushed out, they were banished to the savannah. Perhaps they liked food, but it's not entirely known. The monkeys uh, in exile had to cope in a very difficult conditions on living in grasses. And uh, while those living in the jungle led an idyllic life, uh, in comparison, hiding in the treetops, uh, those who rain uh, in the savannah had to start hunting and hunt in the groups. They had to use strategy and so on. And they had to came up with something that could, could help them. And that thing was language. Uh, and something like language. Uh, which the proto people used to communicate, of course, the language evolved, uh, became more complex, and finally, we know it in the form of modern languages. And we had to uh, tell our children how to make tools, uh, what plants not to eat, how to cope with difficult environment. And thanks to this knowledge, we invented writing and much, much more. The like abstraction happened, poetry. We, we were able to build a society. Uh, and it is, on, uh, it, that it is on that we cultivated art, invented writing and much, much more. Uh, inside, uh, while our cousins used simple uh, sounds as gestures to reach food or danger, uh, we evaluated ourselves above them. Uh, for it is language that is our claws, our fangs, or superhuman ability. There is so little separating us from animals and yet so much. And that is why it is worth using language knowing 
that it, that it is what keeps us where we are. Thank you.